Hi everyone, welcome to this week's video. Today I want to talk about waiting for permission to jump or actually um, why you don't need to wait for permission to jump. And this is something, um, me telling you this very much feels like calling the kettle black because this is uh, this topic is very much me. Um, I'm so used to doubting my own um, intuition, my own um, new ideas that I tend to go to everyone just to make sure is this does this sound something like I need to do? Do you think my audience is ready for this? Do you think my readers want to hear about this? Um, can, can I do this? Am I ready? Um, I'm always asking that to um, a bunch of people. Um, I, I don't have this one go-to person. I have now, uh, but I used to. So this is something that for me, this is a topic I've been working on in, in the past few months. In the past few months, this topic has come up for me uh, as something that I'm working on. So me telling you um, today, you know, about there's no need to wait for permission to jump. This is part of me reflecting on my own process as I'm trying not to do that as much. Because I remember, for example, when I did my tarot challenge uh, last month, th th that was the last thing. That was the last thing that I really um, completely dependent on other people's, on other people telling me, no, you can do this. This is okay. This is this is this sounds like something you would do. This this is fine. Just just do it. Um, that, that's about the last time I like entirely let that up. Child. Like I was like, okay, so this 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 I I had this idea. This came to me. Um, I worked it out. Here it is. What do you think? Um, and I like I entirely um, like my decision to go through with it was entirely dependent on them going. Yes, you need to do this. This is good. This is no, seriously you need to do this. So after that, like I have been trying, um, I am working on on, on changing that. Um, because you don't have to, you don't have to wait for permission uh, to jump. Think of all the trailblazers um, who did what they had to do because they just knew on some level, this is what I have to do, even though nobody's done it before. This is the thing, like we are here where we are right now because people before us did what nobody did before. Uh, and that is why we have the inventions that we have, the mindset that we have, um, there's so much, uh, like, like every little thing, every little development comes from somebody going, yeah, we've been doing this for quite a while now. Can I can I just tweak that a little bit? And sometimes it's like a tweak and sometimes it's just like, can I just overthrow this whole thing? Um, can I? Um, so yeah, like, like we need, there's no development without people just going like, yeah, I know you all go like, are you sure you want to do this? Because nobody's done this before. Um, there have been so many people before us who went like, I'm, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm going to do it anyway, even though like they probably were scared as well, uh, but they just did it anyway because they knew on some level, this is something that I really need to do. Um, so when I said like, I, like I've been working on it for me, where I am now is I still, I still talk about people, um, about my plans and what I'm doing, but the why behind why I talk to people, that is changing. So for example, when I make something, when I create something, I will still ask um, a very select, a very select uh, bunch of people. Um, select bunch, right? Yeah, no, select few people. Select, like I have a few people um, who I know, know me well and who are also aligned with me. So this is for me, it's a very good double check to see like, am I doing this? Um, so I'm not, so my point is that what I'm no longer doing is asking, should I be doing this? Do you think my audience is ready? Do you think my clients will appreciate that? Do you think this works with what I've put out thus far? I'm no longer asking those questions. The questions that I do ask um, are, okay, so this is, this is the message, how I want to put it out. Is this clear? Are there, if after you read this, is there anything you still want to ask? And that's just because, you know, when you put something out there, um, whether that's a novel, whether that's a new program, whether that is uh, whatever else you want to create, it's always good to double check with somebody who's not inside your head, like who's not living with your own brain, because I mean, we all have blind spots and something that is very clear and obvious to us might not be that clear and obvious to other people. So I still have people that I go to, to go like, okay, um, 
you know my audience, right? Uh, do you think this is aligned with them? The way I say this, like the way I talk about this, do you think that works uh, with this particular group of people? Um, after you read this, do you still have questions? Like, am I forgetting particular bits of information? So that's just a double check that we all need. Like it's just saying, like, uh, like I said, like when I say, you know, just jump, that doesn't mean, you know, who needs, who needs an editor? Who needs a proofreader? Uh, I'm ready to put my book on Amazon, so I'm just going to do it. No, you still need the people who will um, show you your blind spots uh, and will make will help you um, turn your product, whatever you're working on, uh, into like the best version it can be. Um, you still need those people. But my point is that my me asking people uh, to look at my work is becoming less and less about, am I crazy? Do you think I can pull this off? Do you think people are waiting for this? I'm no longer asking that. Um, I know now. Like I, I just, I, I just jump. Like I take the risk. If, if not, it, like if it doesn't work, like if that's a learning moment. That, that's gonna be a learning moment, right? Um, but I am like I, I, I am trying much harder um, to just let it go and just go with it. Just go with that flow. Um, so yeah, I'm less, I'm less doing the whole. Is this me? No, I know, I know that it's me. I know that it's me and I have to trust that uh, whatever comes to me for some reason is what I need to put out there. It's just like, how do you put it out there? People can help you with that because we, we're just all like cut up in our own heads. So it's, it's good. Like it's good to have people out there who know how you function, who know what you usually put out in the world and who can just do that double check um, for you to make sure that your, you know, what you're putting out actually makes sense. That's a completely different question to ask. Does this make sense to you? Then should I even be doing this? And that's the question I used to ask. Like, should I should I be doing this? Is this me? Are people gonna think I'm crazy? Um, much less concerned with the crazy at the moment. If people think I'm crazy, they're not my right audience. And one of the other things I've learned, um, actually not in the recent past, but I'm more aware of it now. So I, it's it's more obvious to me now, is that. Um, so, for example, last week I had the idea, because uh, I'm working on a tarot book. I'm working on two tarot books. One is based on the monthly, ch the, the May challenge I did, the 31-day challenge. And the other one will be a compilation of tarot spreads and meditations for creatives. So writers, painters, whatever. People who create, who live a creative life. Um, and I thought, you know what, what I could do, because I haven't been, ever since I moved here, like I haven't done much readings, and I felt this yearning to go back to that. And I was like, how can I, how can I best go about that? And then I thought, you know, I just created like 19 and the might, you know, I'm not sure yet which one is going to make it into the book. Um, something else might come up, but I have now 19 spreads on creativity. I was like, you know what? I should probably just ask around, like put it on Instagram and, and see if anyone wants me to do like a free reading, just also so I can check like the, the tarot spreads that I came up with. Right. Um, and I will learn from that and I might be able to tweak them or uh, at least like when I make the book, I can put in like little anecdotes from the readings that I did. It should make that a whole, uh, that whole experience more complete. So I put that out there uh, without asking anybody whether I should be putting that out there. And I mean, that for me, that was, um, that was such a, um, that experience was so, so, there was so much validation in that experience because l lots of the people I already connected with in the past few months, they all stood, and I didn't know, I didn't know why I connected to these people, like I didn't know what we had in common, um, but like a lot of those people, they stood up and went like, yes, that's what I want. And I was like, oh, wait a second. So the audience is already there, but because I'm not speaking up about this, they're not connecting to me because of this. They're connecting to me about something else, uh, but this is also something that we have in common. Um, so yeah, so my audience is already there. Um, but if I don't speak up about what I have on offer, they don't know that they can speak up about that as well. So that was for me an interesting, um, a very interesting experience that, um, of course, I met a few new people by offering this. Uh, and I'm not done. Like I have a list of, of readings still to do. Like I'm, I'm, 
I pretty much get to test all of them, and that I mean that's so exciting for me. Like that, that 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 was alignment for me. That I I talked to all these people, figured out which spread used worked best for their uh, situation, so which one I was going to use for them. And then after I made the list, I realized none of them are double. Like I'm using almost all of my spreads. Like there's nobody who has like I'm like there's no no not one moment that I use a one spread twice, right? So that was for me. That felt very aligned. I'm like. So the people that I called in are exactly the people that I needed. Um, and some are new, but most of them I already knew, but I didn't know why we connected in the past few months. So this is also a thing. Like if you jump, if, you, if you're if you waiting for permission to jump because you're first waiting for your audience to show up, your audience might already be there. And my brother is watching. Hi, it's my brother's birthday, by the way. He turned 36 today. Happy birthday. Um, Anyway, um, so like I said, this is not me saying like that, that, that mean, like don't wait for permission to jump does not mean just go at it alone. Like you do, like I honestly believe that it takes a freaking village to create something. Um, and not because you have to make something with somebody, but think about, um, if you create something, you'll have suppliers for your goods. Maybe, you know, if you craft, um, maybe part of your village is that girl at the computer shop who's made your laptop, who, which is ancient, but you don't really have the funds right now to replace it. She's fixed that thing up, like brought it back to life for like a million times. That girl is also part of your village. Um, the person who babysits your kids just so you can have like quiet time and focus on your uh, creativity for a few hours person is part of your village your uh, supportive uh, mother or father part of your village so you don't go at it alone that's my point like you don't have to go at it alone um, even though you don't need that permission but the whole idea is that it's it's very important to be aware um, why you depend on people so if you depend like I did uh, if you depend on others to say yes you're ready just do this it's fine just 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 you can, you, you can show yourself. That just means that I'm not doing that work myself, like the speaking up, the stepping into my own power, so to speak. Um, I wasn't ready for that. But it's a completely different story if you depend on other people just because that's how, that's how community works. You just, you know, one person does this, one person does this, and you might not think, like it's, it might not be explicitly related to you creating whatever you're creating, but like I said, like everybody has a little role to play in the process. Like, you know, how we function in a community will help others do their thing. So it's not about not being dependent on others. Um, it's about knowing why you're dependent on others. Um, and this is, um, this is for me, this is my invitation to you to not depend on others uh, around the question, Am I ready to do this? Am I ready to tell this story? Am I ready to create this artwork? Um, am I ready to speak my authentic truth? Am I ready to become the messenger that I'm supposed to be? You really don't need to wait for permission to do just that. But don't think you have to go at this alone. You can rely on other people to make sure that when you get the message out there, it's like in the best possible shape. That is what you can do. But... Truly, like, if you will know when you're ready, right? You know. So if you have trouble hearing that voice, try to create a moment, uh, try to create moments uh, in your day or in your week where you can sit with that information. Like, you can sit, like, maybe for you it's meditating. For some people it will be knitting. Uh, for some people it will be a walk in nature. Try to create moments where you can actually listen, listen to yourself. And, and then, you know, your, your inner voice will speak up and will tell you, yes, you're ready to do this. Don't be afraid. Just fucking jump. That was it for today. Um, and like I said, this is a process for me, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm doing this with you. I'm, so I'm inviting you along, right? I'm doing this with you and I'll report back. Uh, and I'll probably also report on my struggles with it because it's not, you know, it's not linear. Healing is not linear. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, c come along. Like, let us, let's climb that fucking mountain and just fucking jump up it. Never done this much swearing in a video before, I think. But uh, I'm quite fired up about this. I'll talk to you soon. Have a good day.